Hi all, Darren Hansborough from DA Components. Just going to do uh, a new video today talking about backpack pumps. Uh, most backpacks come with a normal water pump, which is great if you're just doing window cleaning. And uh, yeah, everything's fantastic. But if you're moving more towards soft washing chemicals, nine times out of ten, the pumps are not chemically designed for the chemicals. So I'm going to do uh, the video how to fit the new chemical pump with the Vitonk seals and we're going to talk about what tools is needed to do the said job so these are the tools that I think you need what you'll probably see on the table is I've already took the, the base off with the six screws and the longer screw is all the, the cap on for the battery I'm also going to change the battery to a new one uh, I'll put links in the description where I've got the battery from but uh, we'll talk about that later on and then I've got some wire cutters to cut the wires uh, off the pump And we've got some little wire connectors to join the new pump to the original uh, Wires in the backpack. And we've got some new stainless steel Jubilee clips obviously flatted a screwdriver a, sta uh, a slightly wider one to tighten the uh, Jubilee clips up and the Phillips one to take everything off and a pair of pliers to push down the little steel tab once we've fitted the wire connectors. And the reason for the three in one oil, which you could use WD-40 if you wanted to, you can just spray a little bit on the thread there. Just let that settle in. So when you start that off, it'll be just a lot easier to tighten up when we get the hot water. So what we're going to talk about now is we're going to uh, take the old pump off but the first thing you should do is pull the fuse so the fuse is completely pulled out I know there's no battery in there but I always recommend to pull the fuse out even if the battery is in there so the system is not live so the first thing we're going to do what you'll find is the outlet of the tank body is just here so I'm just going to undo the filter inside so this comes away to make life a lot easier so inside the backpack, pull the filter off, just undo it, this threads off. What you'll find, that's the filter with the thread on and it's got a little rubber uh, ring there. So there's the filter and what you'll find, this here will just come away, just makes it a lot easier to take the pump off. So the first thing I do is Phillips screwdriver and we take the little screws off the rubber feet. So now the pump's nice and free. It's a lot easier to undo the Phillips screws on the actual jewelry clips of the pump. Down, get to the other one. This is where I always think that it's just best to change the Jubilee clips to proper stainless steel ones. It's just more robust and they're just a hell of a lot better. So that's the reason why I always recommend changing the Jubilee clips. So the Jubilee clips are off. The next thing I want to do is the cables actually on the pump. I always cut them close enough to the pump. The reason being is you've got a length of cable to play with when we fit the new pump. So we always recommend to cut each of them one by one so then the cables are completely out the way so now we're just going to take the inlet hose off <laughs> i'm going to try anyway so now we take we're down to taking this hose which is the inlet hose from the backpack into the pump but i don't really want to cut it because it, it just looks okay so i'm just going to pour some hot water directly onto it from the kettle. Hopefully it comes out. So now we've got the inlet hose. You can do away with that Jubilee clip. What you will find is this Jubilee clip here, I know it's all rusty, but I think it's down to personal preference. But on this occasion, I'm just gonna leave that one on because it looks okay. So there's the inlet one done. So now I'm just gonna do the outlet one.
So now it's completely off. So there's the inlet and outlet taking the jewelry clip off. Then we're going to fit new ones. So we're at to the stage where we fit the new pump. So just got a jug of hot water. I put a new jubilee clip on the outlet hose going to your pole. Just gonna drop in some hot water. I'm just gonna push it on the outlet, push it right home, and then get your jubilee clip. Get your flat headed screwdriver. Start tightening up. So that's the outlet one going to your polos, and then I'm just gonna fit the inlet hose back on, like so, and then flatter the screwdriver. So there we have the inlet hose and the outlet hose back together. So now we're just going to feed the hose back through, keep the cables away. And what you'll find is the rubber feet, they've got a little bit of adjustment on them, but 9 times out of 10, or 10 out of 10, they do line up. But what you will find is the little screws that hold the old one on, those are the ones you need. So. We're just gonna like for like. What I tend to find is that if you get all the screws in first and then you know it's all sitting correctly and then you can fire them on all to all together. Like I have now. So what you see now is the pump actually fitted to the backpack. I'm just gonna put this little rubber grommet back together. Basically all you need to do is just feed it round. Just so it all sits nice and looks well. So what you will find is when you get this backpack pump, I'm gonna talk about the floor direction with the arrow just on the face body here which is the arrow going to your polos. And when you buy this from DA Components, it actually is the correct way, so you don't have to worry about flow directions. Okay, so now we're just gonna fit the little filter on the inside of the backpack, which threads to the outlet. This is where I think you need super long arms. It can be a bit tricky, this one, so once you actually get it lined up, you can thread the filter onto it. You can actually feel the, the outlet hose going to the pump, getting tighter and tighter. Just try not to over tighten it. It just needs to be hand tight because it's got a little rubber washer there to stop the leaks. So now we have it all fitted. And now we're just going to fit the wire connectors. Two little wire connectors. So what you'll find is the red one that we cut off the old pump just goes to the red of the new one. What you'll find is this little wire connector, you push one in and it stops. Then the other one just goes through the other side. And what I tend to do is just so it sticks out the other end. But make sure that this one's just holding together. Get your little pliers and the little steel tab push it down just really give it a good push with both hands until it's flush to the connection push the lever over that's actually connected now and we're just going to fit the black one again just make sure it goes up to there to this to the stop so you know there's enough in there and you get the green one which is your negative again you just slide it out and like I said before uh, I like it just so it sticks out a little bit further. So then you've got the cable when it connects in there with the pliers. 
what, you, what I will bear in mind, when you buy the pump, it does come with these connectors, these quick release connections from gear components. You, two, you get two or three with the pump. So I'm just gonna push the, push the steel tab down now with a pair of pliers. So just make sure the black one's uh, fully pushed into the connection and then just push down with the pliers. Let's make the connection like so. Just before you pull the, the lever over the top, just give them a little pull to see if everything's okay. And then just slide it over. So then we've made the connection for the, the pump now. And that's the reason why I like to leave the cables long enough and short enough to the pump so you've got enough cable to play with in case you need to change it again. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to fit the battery in, in this uh, space here and then switch everything back on. So the batteries, you can get them from the suppliers, but if you're stuck, I got this from Tool Station. I think I had to order it so it was like a 24 hour uh, wait though. So, But it's exactly the same size battery that you need. And the backpacks now come with spade connectors on. So you just push your spade connector on, get the black one. that back on what you'll generally find what I'm trying to do is I tend to keep all the wires out of the way from where the battery's going so it just doesn't get caught on anything just take it nice and easy it's a bit fiddly but you'll get used to it and the battery's ready to be screwed into position get your little clip uh, your little battery tray and then what you'll find is what I said before what I tend to find is if you get them all lined up first you can actually tie them all on together Use a little bit of movement on this battery tray as well, so you can get all four screws back in. Once you get all four in, same again. Feel free to tie them on. So, there we are. Now before I put the bottom uh, tray on the bottom, I uh, fit the fuse and let's see if it comes on. So, fit the fuse. Moment of truth, switch it on. I'm going to test uh, the speed controller now. there we are backpack pump chemical backpack pump with the vuitton seals fitted to a backpack thank you very much Darren Azarot from Day Components